welcome to Creating with Gorilla Art. We're doing something super fun today. This is definitely a project that is a little more geared with adults in mind, although I do think kids could do it. Um, but it's something special and I thought it would be fun to kind of teach you how to do this neat little project with crackling and these transfers. It's a perfect time, a perfect gift to buy yourself for Mother's Day. And let's give you a little close up. Look at that beautiful crackle. And look at those flowers. You might think that I painted them, which I do paint a lot, but I discovered this new transfer and I just, I love it. And it's so easy and so fun and it makes it look so professional. Now this is um, a piece of wood, pretty thick. That, uh, actually it was two pieces of wood that we pinched together and cut out into a heart and I made a small one which is the perfect size for like a little it's almost like a trivet where you could keep hot things on it or put a bowl of flowers bowl of fruit or something like that vase of flowers rather um, but I did the small one specifically because uh, I just wanted to test it out and see what I thought see if I liked using it and all these things work together but what we're going to be doing today is a big wood one. It's a lot bigger. I'm gonna probably keep it at this angle so you really can get a good look. Now, my idea for doing a great big one is I wanted it more like a tray. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I, I have trays in the middle of my tables. I just love to keep them there. I actually keep napkins and a, a vase of flowers on one, a salt and pepper shaker. I also, not as much as I want to, not as much as I like, but I do, um, you know, have tea and friends come over. And so this is kind of a fun thing where you could put some tea on it, your teapot and some cups some cream and sugar, whatever, coffee. Um, I probably wouldn't put food directly on it, uh, even though we're going to seal it with a really safe uh, top coat. I still, I don't know. Let me bring back to this one. I don't think... I would do food on it. I wouldn't want anything to happen to it, but I definitely would put, you know, a vase or a candle would be really pretty on it. Also, you could hang it. You don't even have to put it on the wall. I mean, on the table, you could actually hang it, um, drill two holes in it and make a door hanger. I think it'd be darling. So in this case, we're doing the big one. And we're going to be using um, a couple of things here. One of my very favorite things, as I was saying before, is this transfer. This is an IOD design, um, Iron Orchid Designs. And they're just two local, well, local to me, California um, sisters that started this fantastic company. It, it just makes your mouth drool when you see all the crafty things that you can purchase from them. And I'm going to actually put um, a link a link to their website and you can definitely take a look at all of this neat stuff for her transfers and I'm going to show you how to use that today. This actually is a one giant transfer. Actually, let me see. It comes in this big roll here and it has all these beautiful flowers. So it's really big. I wouldn't, I don't know, maybe it's a yard. I'm, I'm not even sure it's quite a yard size but I got I cut up oh gosh maybe eight of these out of one so you really could make a bunch of them make gifts if you bought one roll they're not the cheapest um, but they really they're the best uh, as far as the quality and like I said you could get eight things out of it eight little things of flowers so then it works out to be pretty cheap I think and I don't know how I'm gonna display it but we could work out all that details later so I'm gonna push that to the side and we've got our wood let's look closer can you see that there are three pieces of wood that um I'll show you how they're attached in the back there see my dad did this for me he is fantastic and he did this for me. I told him my idea and he got it done. Anyways, he took three pieces of wood and he um, put them together with these, this wood here. 
and then he cut out the heart. And I, I just, I like it. So what we're gonna start with, um, I've got myself a little piece of sandpaper and it's pretty nice new, it's newer wood, it's not old wood, but it still has some, oh, some jagged spots. And I'm just gonna give it a very light, very light sanding all around. Definitely on the edges here. I can see it needs it down here. You don't want anybody to get splinters on it, you know? Okay, got that sanded. Like I said, it's just a very light sanding. I just wanted to make sure there was nothing sticking out that's gonna hurt anybody. And we're gonna be using um, a real, one of my favorite, favorite paints, okay? This is DIY paint by uh, Debbie's Design Diary, okay? I actually got this from JB, Jamie Ray Vintage website. She also does, her and her husband do the greatest fun videos and I'm gonna link them as well just so you could watch them. Uh, but I ordered this off of Jamie's website and I love this paint for, for so many reasons. But one of the things that I most love about it is that it's a very safe paint, so I can paint in the house. I don't have to be outside painting it. I like it better than latex paint because latex takes a while to dry, where this dries so fast. You'll see in this video how fast it dries. And um, it's a clay-based paint, and it just really saturates the wood. It, it's thick. Whereas a lot of a lot of art projects I do use acrylic and a lot of times I would just use acrylic on even something simple like this. But I loved how thick um, the clay paint gets it. It just makes it look I, like I did, let me bring back this, like I did several layers. When this is only one layer of white paint. But that crackle looks so thick. If I did it with acrylic, it would still look nice um, and you can certainly do this project with acrylic, but it doesn't, I don't know, it's just a little extra something something that I like. So I'm gonna start off with painting the green. This is the color that I want to sh pop through the white. We're gonna have about four layers going on here, um, but we're gonna start off with painting it with green. So this is the green paint. I think this one's called um, Fancy Farm Girl by the DIY. And I've got it in this little cup, but I'm just gonna squirt a little bit of water in there because I think that it can be a little looser just to spread on the raw wood. And I've got my little brush here. You know, this is such a silly little brush. I think it's from Ikea and I have to tell you, I love it for doing just this. I like to paint it the way the wood grain goes. So you can see the wood grain is like that. That's how I like to paint it. Let me get the edges. I'm in love with this color. I love that 60s, 70s. I put a little more water in there. Um, 60s, 70s color. But I probably could just do my heart and leave it this green. But I'm gonna do the crackle because I really wanna show you guys how to do it. I love painting wood, wood furniture. Hopefully I'm gonna get some videos in there where I show you guys how to refinish some furniture. That's my goal on this channel. So far, I've only done kids, um, kids videos. And this is my first big kid video. Which I'm excited about. Let's see. I'm gonna try and make this stretch just a little more. A little more water. And then I'm, I am gonna um, paint the sides too. If I miss a little spot, it's not gonna matter too much because we are, this is supposed to be that underneath color. So it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. I haven't decided if I'm gonna make this a wall hanging 
or door hanging, I should say, or a tray. It probably will be a tray. This is such a nice size to put like your candles and maybe a bouquet of flowers. Hopefully, uh, you know what, once I get it all done and I can take a picture and put it in the video so you can see. Okay, so there you go. I've got it all painted. Notice there are some spots, but I don't care too much. Putting my brush in the water. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, go blow dry this. You don't need to watch me do that. But it'll dry probably in a minute with a blow dryer. It takes, it's so fast. So I'll see you in a sec. I got it dry, but I did leave a little bit wet and I wanted to show you. You can see the darker spots. That is wet. And so it does change color a little bit. As it, as it dries, it gets a little bit lighter. Um, and that's okay. I think it's going to be so pretty through the white crackling through. Now, the next step is we're going to be putting a crackle medium. I'm not sure which way I'm going to do this. I'm going to turn it that way. This is by Art Minds. Um, I have to say, I've done a lot of projects with it, and I just got it at Michael's. Uh, you could get, probably get it at Hobby Lobby. Definitely use your 40% off to get it because it can be very expensive. I think it's like 25 bucks for this bottle. I'm not sure. But a little bit goes a long way, and I have had this bottle for a few years, and I, I love it. I love, love, love using it. It's what the secret sauce is to get that crackle. Okay, so I've cleaned my brush really good. Still cleaning it good and I'm gonna paint on this crackle it goes on like a clear almost like glue and you can see where it goes on because it's suddenly the paint is a lot darker Now, it goes really quick. See how fast I did that? I'm not really worried about the sides crackling. I mean, I guess I'll just, anything, any drips. But I'm not too worried about that. Okay, brush goes back in the water. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dry it with a blow dryer, but I don't wanna dry it to where it's solid and completely dry. I want to dry it so that it's still tacky and I was kind of playing around and it's about 45 seconds you know on high heat uh, so you got to test it out and see what works for you but you definitely still want it tacky to the touch but you want to get the bulk of it dry so I'll see you back in a sec. Okay so this is the DIY white swan paint and I'm gonna be painting it on here and this is something testing it. See, it's still kind of tacky, but it's not coming off on my finger. Um, this is a process you want to go fast. You don't want to be taking your time and doing a tiny bit. You want to brush and go. And I would avoid going over the same spot twice because it will start to crackle immediately. And again, you want to follow that grain. So come in. Add more paint. As soon as you stop seeing that white paint, you want to add that paint back in. And down. Starting to crackle already. Love it. Look at that crackle. Crackle is just one of my favorite things. Okay. I got it on pretty quick. I'm gonna go over the sides now because I definitely do want the sides to be white. So I'm gonna paint the sides. Such an easy project. This would be such a great um, gift, you know, for Mother's Day or um, Christmas gifts, whatever. I can't believe I'm even saying Christmas already. We got a long way. It seems like this is a really long spring, right? 
Oh, look at that beautiful crackle. It's already happening. See, if you go over it, you gotta be careful because it will pull the paint off of it. But I also don't want to see streaks. And I'm seeing a few streaks. So I'm just gonna go over that where I see the streaks. You've gotta be very light and wispy because it will pull the paint off. loving it so far. I love it. Now, one of the things that you should do is to take it back and dry it and dry it really, really solid, like no tackiness at all. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. Hopefully my little flowers will cover that up. Don't do that. Don't touch it. Dry it solid and then meet me back here. Okay, I got it all dry. I'm going to bring it real close up so you can see my beautiful crackle. Isn't that gorgeous? It was so easy. I love it because it makes me feel like it's been sitting out at the beach and it's just crackled up from that salt air. I just love, love, love it. Okay, so like I said, you want to make sure it's really dry and then we're going to go to the next step. Got my heart here. I'm going to move these things out of the way, give me a little more room for my heart. Maybe turn it this way. Um, so I've got my transfers here and you've got to be very careful with them because it the transfers are on this clear sheet and then they're not attached to this white sheet on the back and you want to keep them attached until you're absolutely ready to start pressing on your transfer because if it accidentally sticks on something else forget it it's all over so I've um, added a little tape to mine just to make sure it doesn't float all around, especially if you do end up cutting this up. Now this was attached here, but I did decide to cut into it just a little bit because I think I'm going to do this with my flower. I like, I like that. And if I continued on, it would have gone off the paper, but what I'll do is I'll just kind of manipulate it around. See that? so that it doesn't uh, go off the paper. Now this is really easy to actually do the transfer part. When you get your transfers, they come with this little plastic doohickey thing. And that's what you're gonna use to rub, rub it around. You gotta be very careful that you don't let it wiggle. So if you need to, you might wanna um, tape this down to, the, to your wood. But I'm, I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to go for it. I kind of want this in the middle of my um, board, about right here. And then all the flowers are going to come around over it. So I'm taking off this because I'm getting ready. That looks pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect. But once I lay it down, which I just did, that's it. I can't pick it up and say, oh, I want it somewhere else. Mm -mm. I've committed. Now, what you do is you use the short side. I like to put my finger like that, and I just rub it. And you can actually see it's starting to lift because it turns a different color. The words will turn it a little different color, but I like to lift it a tiny to see and see it didn't move at all. It just takes a good amount of pressure, but and it's practice. Everybody can do it. It's really easy. So, and if you lift it up and you see, oh, it accidentally didn't get it all down, just press it back down and redo it. Let's see, you have to be careful. No, I'm gonna eat my words, and I am gonna put a piece of tape. I don't want to have problems. That e. And a lot of these transfers are made to look old. Like some of the flowers um, have crackle in them. The designs are just amazing. Like I don't know who comes up with these designs from those girls, but they're so cool. The other thing that's cool about these transfers is once you transfer them on, you can't see the transfer. 
you know a lot of there's other transfers out there that have like a big lip around them and it makes it look more like a sticker that you're putting on where these are cut so close to the actual um, pattern or flower or whatever that when you lift it up to the naked eye you cannot see and it does not look like a sticker. Everybody's gonna be so impressed thinking that you hand painted these things. I think words are harder to get on and flowers, which is my two cents. I like adding words though. I think it looks pretty. My wrist is killing me now. There you go, now it's coming. See, if I didn't have that tape, it might have tried to lift up on me you don't want to have it move there's a whole variety of transfers some really fun ones let's see have I gotten it all looks like something's missing there I'm almost done There you have it. Now I'm gonna start to place my flowers. Oh boy. Hmm. I think I might cut out that flower there and put that somewhere else. Because I'm not sure I want it completely covering. I don't mind covering up the words a little bit, but I don't want to too much and I can always add it there later so I'm gonna cut that flower out and that leaf will be weird too so let's cut that leaf out as well I'll save it though because you know every little piece you will find a spot for it Trust me. Okay. Ooh, you so cute. That's where I taped it. Oops. I taped it too good for my own good. Resting it yet till I'm ready to commit. Feeling good. Yes. It's going to be so pretty. I love this one. I chose this one because I love the orange. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I'm not going to lay this one down yet. I want to first transfer this, worry about this one before I go on to the next one. So I'm just going to speed through so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. Pretty! Isn't that cute? Look how close. Let me get real close. Doesn't that look like hand painted flowers? Gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so this one, where shall I put it? I kind of was envisioning it kind of heavier on one side. Let's get this. Okay. 
I, I'm kind of weird because I do like to make sure that stems aren't just floating out there with not going into anything. I like to at least have it kind of tucked behind something or maybe it's, you know, coming off the side here. I'm kind of liking that, like kind of overlapping a little. Tell you what, I'm gonna cut off this one because I can see that it's not gonna matter. I like that, I think I'm committing. Uh-oh, there I go. Committed. Can't have commitment issues with this. You gotta just go for it. do on my turn around because I can see this one lifting already and sometimes when you start in a corner and you start to lift it the whole thing sort of goes with it they call it riding the wave see how it's I'm not even pressing and it's just coming off that's called riding the wave definitely easier on bigger pieces because they do tend to come off all at once as opposed to, I found that was much harder, the wording. Stubborn piece. And like I said, you wanna make sure this is real dry because I don't know, I don't think it'll stick if it's wet. You'll have a lot of trouble. Voila. Ooh. Like it. Fun. Now we've got this leaf here that I do think I'm going to come in. Yes, I love that. I'm committing. I committed. And then I'll have that rose to think about. put the rose oh yeah I think maybe there because this was cut off a little weird so I think just by putting it there that makes me happy bit of patience to have to do this but you know on honestly it doesn't take too long the painting you saw how quick that was oh, I like it so much and I do have this one little kind of weird leaf which I don't think I'm gonna use because it has that weird cut out so I'm gonna save it I'm telling you I save every little piece because next time I do one of these maybe I'll need a little bit somewhere else okay so the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you that you've actually got this all stuck down and what you do is take a cloth and you just kind of burnish it in, especially in those little areas there. Just kind of rubbing it in. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna apply a top coat over this whole thing to seal it. Definitely wanna seal it real nice. Um, and 
any type of, um, I'd say water-based uh, top coat would work. I'm also going to be using the DIY Big Top. This is the Big Top. There you go. By DIY. You can also get that at Jamie Ray Vintage. Uh, check out her um, website. You can also find it there. You can also go on to Debbie's Design Diary and order direct from her. Um, but Jamie Ray is one of her dealers, so I just love to support them. And this is a great top coat. You can seal furniture with it, or um, anytime you use this DIY paint is when I like to use it. Ooh, got it open. <laughs> Took me a second. All right, so you can pour um, pour this in another cup, or I'm pretty lazy. I'm just going to dip right from, from there. And I've got my brush. I cleaned it real well. And this top coat, one of the other things I love about this, or one of the big things I love about it, is that it dries within 15 minutes. I mean, it's fantastic. And I'll tell you what, because I'm going to be using this um, in a setting where things might spill on it, you know, water from the flowers or maybe some tea or anything like that. I definitely am going to seal this probably three times just to make sure that, you know, it's safe. So I'm just going up and down. I like to follow the same brush strokes that I did. So once you get it all covered, you can either let it dry for 15 minutes and then come back and um, repaint it again, or you can go blow dry it. And that, of course, speeds up that, that drying time. I'm also gonna get the edges. And that is our project. Isn't that really cute? Now, if you live local to Burbank, I am selling kits just like this. Uh, and it comes with everything you would need, the DIY paint, you'll get to choose. I have some color selections for you, and I have a piece of the flowers. Now, they won't be the exact flowers, and the words won't be the exact same, but they have that same feeling, because it all comes from one sheet. And, oh, and you know what, I think, let me show that to you. If you're gonna um, order it from Jamie Ray, she also sells the IOD transfers. This one's called um, Wander, this particular flower pattern. Uh, you can order it from either of them. But if you're local to Burbank, check me out at my website or email me, gorillaartstudio.com. Um, or gorilla at gorillaartstudio.com. I'll leave a link below and just tell me you want to get one and we'll see what we can do for you. Definitely please subscribe to my channel. I'm posting things new uh, weekly. I'm trying to do lots and lots of kids things and throwing in some adult things too and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Can't wait to see you on the next Creating with Grill Art.